Today we are going to be talking about how to spice up the Chihuahua style. Now, if you know a Chihuahua, then what I'm talking about. If you don't know what a Chihuahua is, go Google it. Okay. So we're talking about how to spice up the Chihuahua style because the Chihuahua style is the most loved style by almost you know both genders, the male and the female. Like everybody says, oh my favorite style is the Chihuahua style. That's what everybody swears by. Swears by. Let me tell you how you can make the Chihuahua style more enjoyable and not feel regular all the time. Because nine out of ten times, every time you get intimate with your partner, you are going to be trying the Chihuahua style. So let me tell you how you can make it a little better than the just than just the regular things that you do all right so welcome welcome back to my channel it's a girl ij or here i'll talk about all things as it concerns love sex and relationship so make sure you stay subscribed or subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of my videos i help men understand women and also help them choose the best woman for them guys i also have a patron in case you want to support me please join my patron if you want to have a one-on-one -on -one session with me make sure you join my patron and you get to talk to me on whatsapp on a video call or an audio call audio call or whatever works for you monthly all right so that being said let us talk about how to spice up the chihuahua style all right now the the first thing you have to know about the chihuahua style is there are different types of chihuahua style okay there are five different ways that you can do the chihuahua style and i'm going to be explaining all of those to you all right now the very first chihuahua style is the all fours okay this is where your girl gets on all fours two hands, two legs, all down, and you have the liberty to go at it from the rear. Okay, that's the all four chihuahua style. The second type of the chihuahua style is the elbows and the knees, okay? So rather than being on her palm and on her knees, she's going to be on her knees and her elbows. So this time she's going a bit lower okay she's going in just a little bit lower now when she's on her hands and her knees it's kind of a bit higher okay now for it to get a little bit spicy rather than being on her hands like this she's going to be using her elbows and her knees thereby making her chest go down a little the third type of chihuahua style is the chest and the knee this way she's not using her hands anymore her hands could be stretched out this way and her chest is going to be on the surface maybe on the bed and her knees now all of these styles is trying to help help make sure that her nyash is facing upwards and giving you more room to dig it okay all right now the fourth on my list is the lazy chihuahua style where she's lying down flat on the bed okay now let us recap the number one is all fours, her hands and her knees, okay? The second one is her elbows and her knees. The third is her chest and her knees. The fourth is lying down all flat on the bed with you going at it from the rear, okay? Now, the fifth chihuahua style will be the tabletop one, which we can also call the standing chihuahua style okay the standing chihuahua style is where your woman is not on her knees she's standing and holding a surface okay now either she's standing and lying up on her chest or from her waist to her chest is lying flat on that surface but she's not using her knees she's using her feet okay so standing and on the tabletop lying down you know if it's on the chair like this she's standing and her chest is going to be on the surface while she's standing and you can go from the rear i hope that's understandable so that those are five different types of chihuahua style that will work for you and your partner okay so now that we've established that you can do the chihuahua style in any different ways let us talk about how you can make it more enjoyable now before we even talk about how to make it more enjoyable there are some times that you're doing the chihuahua style and your woman is not enjoying it but you have no idea now one of the, the one of the easiest way to know that your woman is not really enjoying what you're doing is usually the chihuahua style her back needs to be like they needs to be act is it act i mean act i don't know her, her back needs to be bent like like this with her bum bum facing you like really going upward so her back needs to really go in like this so that you can be you can have enough room now sometimes when the penetration is too deep or like really painful you find out that her back is becoming round she's now pulling up because now if she tries to pull her back 
upwards she's going to be repelling whatever you're putting inside of her okay so whatever is going inside of her is going to start you know trying to come out but if it's like this it's pouring in or if it's like this it's going to be pouring out so she if she starts bending her back upward it means that something is wrong okay it means that either she's feeling pain or some discomfort and nobody wants to feel any kind of discomfort when they're in the other room doing the do okay so this is one of the major signs so if you're doing the chihuahua style and you find out that your woman went from this to trying to bend this way then just know that something is off you need to stop and find out where she's having any kind of discomfort all right so let us talk about how you can now make it a little bit more spicy now the very first thing is your trusting techniques okay the way you go in and out and how you do it okay now one major thing about the chihuahua position is it gives you room to really go deeper it gives you room to put all of your thing inside because like there's see she's just show putting everything in your face but you need to excuse me you need to learn how to play with it with your shallow and your deep strokes okay don't just go in all of the thing inside and just stay there doing nothing make sure that you you know you switch it up okay so if you're going to go deep make sure that you give some deep strokes and also you do some shallow strokes okay what our advice is for instance if you're going to do 10 strokes make sure you give like nine shallow 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 and like one really deep one or you make sure you give like six shallow shallow and just go four deep 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 okay make sure that she doesn't see it coming her body just enjoying and then pam 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 make sure that you make her enjoy it okay don't do something that is so like she already knows what you're doing all right so make sure that you always have like surprises and all of that so make sure that you change your like you alter the speed of what you do so you go some shallow strokes and then you also give some deep strokes and also it's important that you also take note of your speed okay so make sure that you also alter the speed sometimes go really slow you can go really slow and also make it faster okay so don't just use it but don't just go fast 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 and then everything is all deep 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 it's not going to be very enjoyable you're not going to touch all of the zones remember the woman's a uh, honey pot has both the g spot and the a spot and all of those so make sure that you do the shallow one and also you do the deep one and make sure that you play with speed not all fast so sometimes make sure that you're just there and you are grinding okay make sure sometimes you're just there and you're grinding and then make sure sometimes that you are pumping so you could one two three four five then you can go again then one two three then go again then one two three four five six seven you understand so make sure that you you don't just stick to one to make sure that you change it up and make it a little more exciting all right another way to make it more enjoyable is to play with your hips some of you don't know how to play with your hips once you're standing there and you're doing what you're doing you're just going straight now what i want you to do next time is make sure that sometimes you tilt your hip you take your hip backwards okay and make it let it look like you are packing and pouring inside okay don't just always go like straight 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 sometimes bend a little okay sometimes bend a little and try to give it give it to her like this okay sometimes also try to give it to her from from up like it's as if you want to clamp on her nash okay like you want to clamp on top of her bum bum to do it okay so just play with your hips you can play with your hips upwards you can go like on top of her on top of her bum bum and do it all of this or you can try to do it like you're trying to go from under her okay so make sure you learn how to tilt your waists tilt your waist and go like this sometimes and then sometimes you go from the up okay i'll show you understand what i mean all right so make sure that you try if you play with your with your hips like that it's going to definitely make a difference next on my list is make sure you allow her bounds okay sometimes stop doing the work and just allow her take charge some of you men you're like it's okay for a man to take control in the other room but when it comes to this particular position the girls wants to twerk sometimes they want to twerk sometimes they want to bounce on it okay so make sure that sometimes you allow her bounce on it so all you have to do is just stand there with your big man being in there and allow her do the bouncing okay allow her do the bouncing some women are very good at this they will bounce on it okay they will bounce twerk on it okay they will go and circle they will grind okay while you're just standing there doing nothing okay some of them will do all of this for you so sometimes don't 
yeah sometimes just wait and allow her take the lead and do what works for her also okay that's very very important also when she's bouncing try not to try to you know because sometimes you can miss the rhythm and it will feel awkward so like if she's bouncing all of that sometimes just allow her do the bouncing for a while before you grab her and go back to doing what you are doing okay another way to spice it up while you're doing the chihuahua the chihuahua style is that's uh, the best time to introduce spanking because you can see all of her beautiful nash in your face uh, while you're doing all of this don't forget to spank the cheeks and play with it okay you can grab and spank and do all of those that's very exciting to do during the chihuahua star so the chihuahua star doesn't have to be boring it doesn't have to be all knacks and no play so while you're knocking you can be doing this at the same time the chihuahua position style also helps you like gives you the liberty to do the hair pulling so while you're doing all of this your hands can be pulling the hair is more exciting a lot of women love it and if you're really very tall you can also choke while you're doing the chihuahua position you can choke while you're you know you're at it and doing what you're doing also if you're very talented while you're doing the chihuahua position you can put your hands just you know below her belly button while you are playing with the powerhouse and doing what you are doing behind it will be really really exciting and also while you are doing this you can also you know go to her you know boobies and do all of these while you're going from the back your hands can also be playing with the lady bells and the nips and all of those like there are so many exciting things you can do while you're doing the chihuahua style so you can also incorporate that also while you're going from the back you can play with the lady bells and this will make it even more exciting another thing you can do that a lot of people miss is you can use a mirror now don't make the mistake of wanting to record you on your partner like if it goes viral i'm also going to watch okay i'm going to go on twitter and i'm going to search until i watch every damn thing all right so make sure that you do not do camera recording if you want to watch on your partner going at it and if you want to make it really enjoyable especially if you're trying to spice up the chihuahua style make sure that you put the mirror just in front of you okay i have a special mirror for that it's really exciting make sure that you have a mirror right in front of you so while you are at it you can be watching yourself and watching your partner's face in the mirror and watching how she know you know how how you both react to it so watching yourself live while you are performing the act can be very exciting and add more you know taste to what is already already sweet all right now the last thing on this video is make sure that you always have consent okay now the consent should even be the first thing i don't know why i had to put it the last but consent is key so make sure that whatever you are doing with a person that they want to be doing it with you and make sure that they are of age make sure that you did not manipulate them into doing it make sure that you're not taking advantage of them make sure they are not drugs make sure they are not high on any drugs maybe and the rest of them so make sure that you have consent before you do anything i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did enjoy this video make sure you don't miss my next video because it's going to be on um how to spice up the missionary now in case you don't know the missionary is also one of the most popular ones so if you enjoyed this video i'm sure you're going to enjoy the next one so make sure that you go through my page and um you know look for the video that talks about spicing up the missionary positions okay so make sure that you subscribe and share this video so other people can see it so stay beautiful stay amazing and bye for now Mwah.